drawing splines. Let's take a look at what a spline is. You can find spline in the draw panel here. You have to extend it a bit and then you can see we have a spline fit and a spline CV. Let's first see what the spline fit does. I'll go ahead and select that and now I'll go ahead and specify a few points. As you can see I'm getting curved lines. This allows for very smooth shapes if you're looking for something along that line. And when you're done, I'll go ahead and press close. You can undo or you can press enter if that's your last point. I'm going to pan over to the side just a little bit. I'll go ahead and draw and then do spline CV. And again, I'll click a few points. And this time you notice that the points that I'm clicking aren't on the line like they were before. But these are being controlled with different vertices than the one before. I'll go ahead and press enter and now I have two splines. Now let's look at how we can edit those. I'll go ahead and select this and then now we can see all the grips for editing. I can go ahead and grab any one of these and stretch it around as needed. And if you hover over them for just a second, you see you have additional options here to remove the fit point. We can go ahead and stretch this out. Hover over. We can add a fit point. Click at a new location. And I can also change the first spline that was a fit into a CV spline with control points. As you can see, now we have points di at different locations. I'll go ahead and adjust this one a little bit more. I can also use this menu here to fit it back. I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect and we'll look at this one over here. I'll change some of these control points around. Stretch them out just a little bit longer. And then I'll change this one to a fit. And you can see again the grips have changed to match the line itself. Fit has its grips on the line itself while CV has its grips outside the line. Let's go ahead and take another look at that. There you go. Let me move this one again and let me select this one and move this one around as well. Another thing you can do is first let me deselect by hitting the escape key and if you double click on this you get additional points and options that you can choose. This allows us to edit the spline. We have close, join, fit data, edit vertex, convert to a polyline, reverse, undo, and exit. Let's just convert to polyline to see what happens. Now if I go ahead and specify a precision, I'll go ahead and keep 10. Click on the line, and now it's broken up into many different polylines. If I zoom in, I'll hit escape and try and select just one. Pull it out. And now you can see I have nothing but lines that are connected. I'll go ahead and zoom out. Pan over to the side. Zoom out some more. Put this one in focus and hit escape to deselect that. Now if I select this one, I'll go ahead and turn this into a fit. I'll double click it to enter the spline edit options and I'm going to go to fit data and now I'm going to add a kink. Now I can go ahead and specify a point such as here and I've added an extra kink. You can see the blue grip up here. I'll go ahead and hit enter when I'm done. Enter to exit again and as you can see, exit again is the default, so I'll hit enter or click on it, and there you go. We've created more points to this spline. Splines can be very effective when you're trying to model very smooth shaped curves. But it may be more efficient to use arcs and lines to represent some of your shapes, since they are more easily to reproduce when you come to manufacturing.